It says, says in Hari Bhakti Vilas, if someone wants to wear neck beads, that's the Ardi card to wear them. And then all kinds of missions and people make some kind of standards. You have to do this, that, you know. Too. Very nice. Okay. It's not bad. But at least we, because we wrote some posts on this on our, on our, you know, that internet thing. Having read that, and Sanskrit says, if it's his choice, if he wants to, if Ravana wants to wear neck beads, well, let him wear neck beads. <laughs> Even though he stole the consort of Ram. So this, but because we have heard different things and different Two if you're initiated, three if you're not, or one if you're not. So I asked some learned teachers, is there any number? I said, no. <laughs> it's like one bead around your neck. Some people wear one bead, one big bead. I've seen people coming with one big bead. Some Shaivites have one big uh, rudraksha, maybe ekmuki or whatever. Who knows some extraordinary valuable rudraksha around their neck, maybe good for health, or that's rishta. As Rudraksha is the eye of Shiva. It's considered a Murti of Shiva. So those people wear those things. And uh, I've seen people with one big Tulsi bead. Maybe it's their own Tulsi, and the Tulsi died, and they, or let's say, left her uh, body. And then the person carved and kept around the neck. Guru, he gives us, as the mark of Diksha, Pancha Samskaras, he gives us the Kanti Mala. can be one, two, three, five, whatever. And you see, someone may get two or three initiation. You come back 10 years later, they have 50. <laughs> oh, you're bogus. Oh, maybe a <laughs> you know, so Or different sizes. There's one great devotee from Govardhan. He's a bridge vasi. Govardhan, he wears all different sizes. And you know, like the whole, his whole chest is covered with Tulsi. What to speak of Gopinath Samstakacharya? The Gopinath Takuji, Gopinath Samstakacharya. The person who established the worship of the great, beautiful, most sweet and beautiful deity of Gopinath who ran away to Jayapur to stay with his buddy Govinda and Damodar. They all ran away. Say, let's get out of here, boys. All right, let's go. <laughs> Damodar went. Radha Madhav went. Uh, Jayadeva Goswami's deity, Radha Madhav ran away, went to Kanak Vrindavan. Damodar went away. And Loknath Goswami, oh, wait a minute. I'm coming. Hey, wait for me. I'm, I'm small, but I'm coming too. Vinodi Lal ran over. Damodar went. Gopinath went. Govinda ji went. Madame Mohani was a little old because he was a first deity, you know. <laughs> Madame, Go- Madame Mohan Temple was opened in 1580, and, and Radha Govinda was opened in 1590. So he's 10 years younger, so he ran all the way to Jaipur. But R- Madame Mohan was a little old. He got tired. He got to Karoli and said, I can't make it. Man. I'm staying in Karoli. He said, come on, come on. We're all, we're, all, we're, all down, we're all down here. Come on down. No, I'm tired. I'm staying here. So those people are so fortunate. <laughs> Otherwise, the whole gang would be down there. The whole gang would be in Jayapur, which would be nice because it's really tough to go to Karoli and then go bounce your way down the, from there down to, uh, to the other uh, the members of the, our loving lords. And many of us have done that many times, and we'll do it again too <laughs> because love is crazy. It makes you crazy. It makes you crazy.